Welcome to ASM Tower software tutorial videos. In this video, we will learn how to model platforms in ASM Tower. From the Geometry group, open Platforms dialog box. Enter the platform name. Any name can be used and multiple platforms can be defined in the same model. The first thing will enter the elevation of the platform deck which will be used later in ASM tower calculations to transfer loads of the platform and attached appurtenance to the structure. Set it equals to 59 meters. ASM tower supports many platform shapes such as circular, triangular and inverted triangular and we'll see how they look later in this video. From the type of platform, select square. Face width is the outer width of a triangular or square platform or the outer diameter of a circular platform as shown in these sketches. Set it equals 3.5 meters. Let's say we have 12 vertical members across all sides of the platform. If the platform has a metal deck at the elevation of the platform. Here we will enter the thickness of the metal deck so that ASM tower will calculate its weight. Let's say it is 5 millimeters. However, if there's no metal deck, the user may set it equal to zero. If weight or area calibration is needed for any reason to adjust the values calculated by ASM Tower, the user is free to define any additional weight or EPA. Note, ASM Tower accepts both negative and positive values to be entered in the additional weight or EPA fields. Select Horizontals tab. Enter the name of the first horizontal level. We will call it Toe Rail. And we will choose a cross section of the single angle 60 by 6 for its members. The twist angle is used to rotate the members around their longitudinal axis. Set it to zero for now. Set the vertical offset equals to zero. The user must define at least one horizontal level with zero offsets to set the cross sections of the horizontal members at the level of the platform. Let's add another horizontal level for the knee rail. From size, select plate 50 by 5. Set the twist angle equals to zero for now. To define another horizontal level above the platform level, the user has to enter a positive value here equal to the distance between both levels and a negative value if the new horizontal level is below the elevation of the metal deck. Set the vertical offset equals to 0.6 meter. Let's add another horizontal level for the handrail. From size, select single angle 50 by 5. Set the twist angle to zero for now. Set the vertical offset to 1.2 meters. Finally, select Supports tab. If the platform has vertical members and diagonal members, the user must assign their cross sections and twist angle from Supports tab. It can be left blank if there are no vertical or bracing members. Suppose we only have vertical members with plate 50 times 5 millimeters as a cross section. From type, select Vertical Members. From size, select plate 50 times 5. Set the twist angle to zero for now. Click Add. Click OK. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. To zoom in, rotate the mouse scroll. Now you see the platform is added to the tower. As you can see here, these horizontal members must be rotated. Let's open the platform dialog again and from horizontals tab we will change the twist angle of these members to be 270 degrees. Click update. Click OK. Click OK. Click update to refresh the graphics. Now the angle has been rotated to its correct orientation. However, the platform does not have bracing member. Reopen platform dialog box. Select supports tab. Select bracing members. And from size, select single angle 45 times 5. Set the twist angle equals to 0. Select geometry tab. From bracing type, select type X. Click update. Click OK. Click update to refresh the graphics. Now you see that bracing members have been added to the platform as X bracings. Set the platform back without bracing members. And let's see the different shapes of platforms in ASM Tower. Select Geometry tab. From type of platform, select Circular. Click Update. Click OK. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Reopen Platforms dialog box. From type of platform, select Triangular. 
Modify the face width to be 6 meters. Click Update. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Reopen Platforms dialog box. From Type of Platform, select Inverted Triangular. Click Update. Click OK. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Set the platform back to a square shape with 3.5 meters face width. But let's remove the metal deck this time by setting this value to zero, just to see how the platform will look without the metal deck. Click Update to refresh the graphics. Thank you for watching.